Hello and welcome back. My name is Ewan and today we're going to be looking at collecting and observing any bugs that we can find indoors or outdoors here in the UK this time of year. Now to do this today we're actually going to be creating our own bug collector. This is very easy to create, basically you're going to need a clear container. I've used a glass jar, now I've got to be very careful because of course it is made of glass, I want to make sure I don't drop it. I have peeled off the labels and I've given it a good wash down with some soapy water so it's nice and clear all the way through. Now, really importantly, our lid needs to have some holes put into it. This is so that any bugs we collect when we put them in the jar, the lid having holes in it will allow oxygen to get in so the bugs can keep on breathing. We don't want to hurt anything today and we definitely don't want to kill anything. To make these holes you're going to have to ask an adult to do that for you. Okay. And be very careful if you're using a metal lid like I am here, that on the inside it may create some sharp surfaces. We want to make sure that we're not touching those. Once you've done that, lid goes back in your jar and you've got some nice breathing holes for your bugs to stay nice and alive in on the inside. Now when it comes to deciding which bugs you're going to collect, you want to make sure you do it with an adult. There are some bugs that if they think they're in danger, they might sting you or bite you. They don't mean any harm, they're just looking after themselves. So we want to make sure we do it with a grown-up who can help us decide which ones are safe to collect. In the UK we have 27,000 species of insect. An insect has six legs. In the UK we also have 650 different species of spider. And a spider is an arachnid. Now an arachnid has eight legs in total. But the creature I'm looking for today actually doesn't fall into the bracket of insect, nor does it fall into the bracket of arachnid. Now the creature we're looking for today is one of these. It's a wood louse. So be very careful not to hurt it. I want to encourage it into the glass. It might take a little while to do. Now a wood louse isn't an insect, it doesn't have six legs, it is not an arachnid because it doesn't have eight legs. This actually has 14 legs, seven different pairs of legs. This is an isopod. Now an isopod is a type of crustacean and that means it's related to crabs and lobsters that you're going to find in the ocean. It's got two huge antennae at the front which it uses to find its way around, it's having a good old move around at the moment. And it also has an exoskeleton, so you and I as humans have skeletons on the inside of our body, a creature that has an exoskeleton has its skeleton on the outside, so it's like a suit of armour, and it uses it much like a hedgehog does, certain species of this creature actually roll up into a ball. There are 50 different species that you can find in the UK, there are some that have two pairs of lungs, some have seven pairs of lungs, some have no lungs at all. So before you put them back, feel free to take photos. Um, do some drawings, do a painting, do a collage, whatever you fancy, but most importantly, we don't want to keep it too long in our jar, we're going to pop it back exactly where we found it, okay? Now if there's a bug you collect and you're not sure what it is, use our rules. Write down how many legs has it got, does it look like it might have an exoskeleton, uh, what colour is it, how big is it and where did you find it? With the help of an adult, you can then have a look online, see if you can work out what species it is, see how many different bugs you can find outside. And there we have it. Our bug collector made from a simple jar, and we can learn loads about the insects, arachnids, isopods, and any other small creatures you might be able to find around you. Thank you for tuning back in, and we'll see you soon. Take care.